Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this latest webinar from the National Weather Service in San Diego. We're going to talk about monsoon and the monsoon thunderstorms as easterly flow from the east sets up and brings in deep tropical moisture this weekend. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Here's some of the key points. The monsoon flow, which is normally south to north from Mexico, becomes easterly from the east, coming from the desert towards the ocean. Thunderstorms will increase late Friday through Sunday this weekend. Thunderstorms most likely in the mountains and deserts, but some activity will reach the valleys and coast, especially for the weekend. It'll be warm and muggy, but mostly low heat risk. Lightning and brief heavy rain is the main threat. The strongest storms could produce local flash flooding, especially for the deserts and mountains. Still, isolated thunderstorms are going to occur next week. The pattern does shift to mainly inland over the mountains and clipping the deserts. Here's a new product from the National Weather Service. This is available on our webpage. The link is shown here at weather.gov. The example that I'm showing here is lightning threat. I picked Sunday on the table to the right because it was highlighted red. It shows me the areas where the lightning threat is most significant in the red, least significant in the none or the yellow limited. Be sure to check this out for the next seven day outlook. The precipitation expected through August 2nd is shown here. Now this is a seven day precipitation total. Most of the precipitation will occur again late Friday through Monday. Locally an inch or two in some of the heavier thunderstorms adding up over the mountain and desert slopes. And even locally a quarter inch making it to the valleys and coast as shown here. The bottom line is over the next several days this weekend there will be repeated thunderstorms moving east to west. The current weather pattern shown here. So we have upper level high pressure near 20,000 feet where airplanes fly and the wind flow that steers any thunderstorm is shown here. It also drags the moisture, but at this time, just the northern edge of the moisture is making it into Southern California. So we have no thunderstorm activity, but that deep moisture over the Colorado River Valley will be shifting westward as the pattern strengthens and the easterly flow increases. Here's what we expect for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Upper level high pressure will become stronger, so the heat wave builds and peaks out over Oregon and Northern California. But at the same time, easterly flow increases, driving moisture into Southern California. Then we see the upper level high pressure shift east on Sunday over Utah. That keeps easterly flow but that flow does weaken somewhat, so slower moving storms late Sunday into Monday. Now next week, the monsoon moisture doesn't go away. In fact, we shift into more a classic situation with upper level high pressure dome of hot air over the four corners, Southwest United States. A weak weather disturbance cooling off significantly in the Pacific Northwest, but now a shift to southerly flow coming into Southern California with even Southwest flow, which tends to favor more the inland mountains and deserts. The outlook though for early August looks like this, still expecting above average monsoon activity over the Great Basin and Southwest. Because of that, temperatures near normal, even below normal in the deserts as shown here. The big heat shifts into the central and northern plains. Summary of what to expect. Thunderstorms increasing late Friday. Anything before that isolated. And then continuing through Sunday. Storms will move east to west from the desert to the ocean. Thunderstorms most likely over the mountains and deserts. So that's where your highest probability is. But some of these storms will move into the valleys from east to west and even make it to the coast. In fact, some storms may form on their own over the valleys and coast, even if they aren't originally over the mountains. There is the potential for even thunderstorms at night, not just with the afternoon peak heating sunshine 
and the sea breeze that moves into our mountains. Any thunderstorm will have brief heavy rain, even coastal and valleys, but over our mountains that rain could be heavy enough for some local flash flooding. Lightning and gusty winds are possible with these thunderstorms as well. Now isolated thunderstorms do continue next week, but it'll shift inland as the pattern changes for the mountains and the deserts. Be sure to check out the weather forecasts at NWS San Diego on social media or visit weather.gov San Diego and the latest information will be on that page. Thanks for tuning in everyone.